Hello everyone, just a quick video today really, just a little update of the Feed the Beast and what's been happening and what I've been up to. I've decided to move home as home is over there and I don't like where it is anymore and I've seen The Hobbit recently so I'm going to be making my own Erebor. Now I have awesome plans in my head of the massive cave system and bridges going across everywhere. If that comes to light is another story but this is where I'm going to be living. And I am in the process of getting a fully automated macerating room like I put uh, some chests down and put the ore I get and it will automatically be pumped away macerated into dust or pulverized I haven't decided if I want to use macerate or pulverize it yet uh, macerated if we have a look are uh, massively expensive if I can actually spell macerator there we go so if we click on them there's two diamonds on each one machine blocks or machine frames or just go into that that's the sturdy casing so that's like four bronze uh we've got the bronze machine parts and then you got machine parts and you go into all this it looks friggin complicated i know they are good and easily powered and things but i think i can use pulverizer and an, and an electric engine if that comes to light i might just use a pulverizer uh they are a lot easier i've already made one i think all that is needed is some Gold is the most expensive part of it. So yeah, just a piston and a machine frame, which is gold and glass and iron. Uh, if we have a look again, then we've got redstone reception coil, which is just gold and redstone. So I'll chuck a few of them and then make the electric engine as well and power them. And I think I'm going to be going with bio fuel, I believe, if I can get that going. So I'll use a wheat farm and automatic pump it into there and it'll keep all going and power and hopefully around here somewhere um, so yeah I thought this is quite a fitting place it's quite mounty mounty mountainous around here it's, it's one of the highest peaks it's nearly misty if that cloud was just down a bit it definitely would be the misty mountain or the lonely mountain on the misty peaks um, so yeah the, if I'm getting macerator I'm going to need lots of diamonds I've got a jetpack now that's how I'm flying Woo! um so I have this, this is what I really want to show you, is this strip mining turtle. Now I haven't, I did not write the program for it. Uh, I will link the author who did, a lot of wolves, and give him full credit. But I have also uploaded it to my paste bin in case his one goes down, but it's all his and I did not do it. It would take me weeks to even comprehend how to do it. And then I'd be like super, super slow at actually doing it. But if you just chuck it down here, and if I go into it, I think I named the program Spiral. You can, I think you just go like paste bin, and then load, and then paste the little code at the end of the HTML line. You put in it's something like blah 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 blah. It would be something looking like that, and then give it a name at the end. And I think I named mine Spiral. And if I just, oh wait, yeah, uh, this program needs an ender chest there, and I think I just a bit of coal in and it'll give it power it's meant to find coal on its way and it will power itself with the coal it finds and it will check the inventory and then plop down the ender chest and put your items in there if it's full it's really quite uh, fast and really good and you do then put whatever you called it I've called it spiral and then how many columns you want just for this I'll do five hopefully Ah, uh, okay. No such program. I will go and load it quick and show you fully. Oh yeah, I did the command wrong at first. So it's paste bin get and then put the code and then the name. So this is the code. It will link directly to the code I've put up of someone else's program and then spiral. That's just what I named it. So now the program is loaded. You have to have an end chest in the first slot and then some coal to power it. It will find more coal and use it though. So if I do spiral 5... If I can actually type on the... There we go. Ooh. Hold on. There we go. It's just catching up with me. Okay. And then it should... Off it goes. There we go. So now it will go out and make a strip mine. And it it normally does a too high column when it's underground. Is he? Yeah. And so it's like a strip... It does the strip mine for you. And then afterwards you just follow the the thingies around looking for the diamonds and it's awesome and it's best there we go <laughs> okay i'll explain it better is you follow it around 
look for the diamonds in the strip mine. Best done at level 10. Well, between a certain amount. I always do it at 10 because that's where a lot of diamonds are found. And it's really cool. At the end, it will come back, plop down the ender chest, put the items in it, and then pick it up again. And if you look, there's the ender chest. It's used the coal up. And five columns. Now, this might be a bit hard to see, but if you look here, I think uh, this will count as one. So that's one column, that bit is straight. That's two columns, that's straight. Three columns, there. Four, and then five. And then it goes, nope, I'm going back then, back to the middle, and stops. So if you wanted a big strip mine, you'd say like 20 and it will go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all around in a big spiral, keep going. And then you just go around the columns and look for the diamond, it's really good. And I don't have a pick, oh I do have my diamond, that's good. I don't know if I need the diamond to pick it up, but there we go. And that is the strip mine, it's really handy, I've got quite a few diamonds now and I'm going to be running him quite a few times. The only problem is you have to be in the same chunk for it to be loaded, else he will stop working. So you could build a chunk loader or just stay in the chunk and do something else for a little bit. So I hope you like the strip mine. It's coming real handy, actually. Uh, it might run into problems at lava. I'm not really sure. I, I didn't do the code, as I said. Uh, I will give full credit to that guy in my description below. So, yeah, this is the plan. I shall have a fully automated room by the next time I do a video. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!